Hey guys, it's Luis from B-Flex. Today I'm going to show you some advanced techniques for layering right after the intro. All right, so we're gonna be doing a trucker hat. All this is gonna go on a trucker hat and basically what we're going to do is gonna create a patch. You know, those three dimensional patches that are very popular on um, trucker hats, that's what we're gonna recreate with heat transfer vinyl. So the initial layer is going to be our black fatty. So this one is gonna immediately raise the design and it's gonna give it that three dimensional look. On top of that, then we're gonna go with um, our black sandy glitter, um, our black glitter, I'm sorry. Uh, sandy glitter is a different kind that has texture. This one has um, the glitter effect on it, but you, you're you not able to uh, feel the glitter. It's actually embedded on the vinyl. So um, I think for this is more a subdued uh, finish. So we're gonna, that's what we chose for this design. So we're gonna be doing um, that on a direct layer method. That way you're gonna see basically vinyl on vinyl and you're gonna see how the materials interact with each other. Now, with that being said, we, we don't wanna add extra thickness to that. So we knocked out the, the glitter and then we're gonna go on top of that with our white Gimme 5 and then with our blue, sky blue Gimme 5. And then we're gonna finish everything off with basically a ring of uh, white sand, uh, white fatty, which is going to, again, give it that extra depth that we're looking for. At this point, if you if you add these two layers, you're looking at 1.5 millimeters of thickness for the total design. So that's really gonna pop off the hat and it's gonna give it a different look compared to just, you know, applying regular vinyl on a hat. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so next we're gonna be pressing uh, our first layer, which is gonna be the black fatty. Um, let's go ahead and center our hat right here, clamp it down. There we go. That way it doesn't run away from us. And we're going to be pressing the fatty. Now, as far as placing this stuff goes, um, I have to be real careful because I don't have a lot of space to work with. So we're going to be centering it right here. Um, it's obviously not sticking, so we're going to be using some heat tape on the sides. That way we can get this to place properly and it doesn't move. So right there, it's nice and centered. We've got our design center now. Our press is set at 305 for 15 seconds. We're going to be using um, this temperature um, for the fatty, but we're going to meet, um, you know, since we're, th there's always this, um, you know, um, conundrum that we come to when you're pressing with different B-Flex materials, any different kind of vinyl is, hey, this press is at certain temperature, this press is at this other time. So what we're going to be doing is since uh, we have materials that press at different temperatures, we're going to be working with the temperature that cures at the highest. So uh, in this case, the sandy glitter is at 305 uh, Fahrenheit and it needs 15 seconds. I'm gonna be taking some seconds away when I press the rest of the materials, but when it comes to the fatty, we're gonna be doing um, that amount of time. So we've got our design right here. Make sure it's stick right there and go ahead and press for 15 seconds. Next up, we're gonna have our um, BF glitter. All right, perfect. And sandy glitter, I mean, BF fatty is a hot peel. So you don't have to wait for the material to cool down, you just go ahead and peel it. All right, next stop, we're gonna be doing our BF glitter. All right, so now we're gonna go with our black glitter layer. Now, this is a material that presses, as I mentioned, at a lower temperature. It's supposed to go at 295 for 10 seconds. In this case, we're gonna stick with the 305, um, in this case, for 10 seconds, because we don't wanna wait for the, you know, in a, in a normal scenario, we don't wanna wait for the, the heat press to cool down and heat back up, um, you know, it's time consuming. So we're just going to 
stick with that time. We're gonna place our design there. We're gonna use some heat tape, as I mentioned, um, to make sure that our design is there correctly and it sticks there as we're pressing it. All right, it's nice and centered. And we go ahead and press away. Perfect, so our BF glitter is another material that is a hot peel in case you are, uh, you know, you're wondering, yeah, most of our materials are a hot peel. There are certain exceptions to them. It's always good to know which ones they are. Again, if you have any questions, go to our website. Every single um, material has their, their, their own spec sheet on there, so you can go ahead and download it if you have any questions about every um, material line that you have purchased. Or you can also uh, go to our, you know, your closest retail, Bflex retailer, and uh, you know, request a catalog that you know will have everything that you need. Uh, we'll have a, a whole chart, a whole table where you can check out washability, uh, material compatibility, and uh, all the application instructions as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work with two things. Uh, we're going to work with our Gimme 5 Evo, and we're gonna work with our Gimme 5 Evo, which is the same, the, just a different color. So, you know, technically this would be two layers, but I'm gonna try to get it as close as possible um, to each other. So that way we're not wasting time and we can do basically two colors at the same time since they're going in different parts of our design. So this is what we're gonna be doing a different technique compared to you know, what we just did, which is direct layering. Now we're gonna be doing um, what we call a knockout. And what this does, is this is, this is very famous on um, t-shirt decoration because it reduces the bulkiness of the design. You don't have to layer on top you know, every single time. You simply make sure that one, the, all the layers that you're doing or the colors are all sticking to the garment, which improves washability, washability, but also reduces uh, the thickness of the finished good. So in this case, we're just showing it to you so you can get familiar with it. Um, it's one of those things that you want to learn as a decorator. Knocking out definitely, definitely um, reduces the thickness of the material. Um, overall and it's going to give you a more plush feeling um, when you are wearing the garment you don't want to you know the material is really thin but in, as soon as you start stacking it you know it starts becoming more rigid it starts losing a lot of the um, you know advantages that the b-flex materials have so and any vinyl in general so okay so we've lined everything up let's go ahead and press All right, now that we have this done, it's a hot peel as well. Just trying to make sure that I don't get my fingers burnt here. It's not a lot of space between the hat and the platen. And now we're gonna go for the final layer. All right, so we're gonna go for our final layer and it's gonna be, as I mentioned, why uh, BF fatty. Now this is going to add the final uh, touch to our design. It's going to give it that extra three-dimensional look that we're looking for. Um, you know, one layer of fatty is cool. Two layers, I think, is definitely going above and beyond. It's what it's going to turn this into a th real three-dimensional patch for us. And we're going to have some takes as well, like some close-ups of this hat, so you guys will be able to see what it looks like um, you know, from up close. I know this is probably not the closest view that you can get, but we're gonna have some shots for you to show you how cool this looks, um, how shiny, how three-dimensional it looks, and how you can do this with pretty much any design. It doesn't have to be a hat, it can be um, you know, a t-shirt, it can be um, a wristband, it can be anything else. It can be a shoe as well, um, you know, on the heel of the shoe. If you wanna do a patch, it's different things. All right, so that's a hot peel for us. 
go ahead and peel that off. And there we go. We have a three dimensional patch for you. So we can cue the close up shots right now. So there you have it. You know, a B Flex hat with three different B Flex products, five different layers, and an amazing look. So let's see how it looks on me. There you go. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Please hit the bell button so you get notified whenever we post more videos like this one. Also go to bflexamerica.com where you can find our closest authorized retailer and more information about our products and also follow us on social media.